All right, so in this lesson, we're going to break it up into two parts. The first part, I just want to teach you the trigonometric ratios and how to set them up. In the next part of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to solve for sides and angles of a triangle using these ratios. So the three trigonometric ratios are sine, cosine, and tangent. And sine is the length of the opposite leg divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is the length of the adjacent leg divided by the length of the hypotenuse. The tangent of an angle is the length of the opposite leg divided by the length of the adjacent leg. So we're just going to get some experience writing out these ratios for different triangles. So in example one, I'm going to write what are the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios for angle T. So I'm going to circle angle T. And the way we write this is the sine of T equals, when we look at the top, opposite leg over hypotenuse. The opposite leg to T is 8. The hypotenuse is 17. For cosine of T, that's the length of the adjacent leg, 15, over the hypotenuse, which is still 17. The tangent of T, that ratio, is the opposite leg, which is 8, over the adjacent leg, which is 15. So sine, cosine, and tangent depend on the angle that we call the reference angle. In this problem, T was our reference angle. So you're going to have to reference these three ratios as we go through problems to practice setting up the equations. We'll focus on solving them later. So in the guided practice, what I would like you to do is I would like you to just try to write the ratios, but instead of using T as our reference angle, use G as our reference angle. So find the sine of G. Find the cosine of G and the tangent of G. So write those ratios out to get used to setting up the equations. So pause the video, work through these, and then when you move on, I'll work on example two, and then you will just do some practice on setting up the ratios. Okay, so the sine of G is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. The leg opposite to G is 15. Hypotenuse is, in this problem is always gonna be 17. All right, um, cosine of G, adjacent leg over hypotenuse. So adjacent leg to G is 8, 8 over 17. Tangent of G is opposite side over adjacent side, so 15 over 8 for tangent of G. So it depends on the angle you're given. Your ref we call that the reference angle. So in example 2, I just want to show you how to set these up and solve simple equations where you have to solve for a side. Now. This is going to be in day two, where we actually solve and work on solving for angles and sides. So I'm really just going to focus on the setting up of the equations, and in the next video, I'll talk about how to solve these equations. So in example two, part A, 54 is our reference angle. W, in reference to 54, is the opposite side. 17 is the hypotenuse. So the way I would set up this equation is, is I would say the sine of 54. I would use the sine of 54 because I have the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is W. The hypotenuse is 17. So that's how I would solve that equation. In part B, looking at um, 28 being our reference angle, 1.0, that is the opposite side. W, or sorry, 1.0 is the opposite leg. W is the adjacent leg. So in this case, if you look at the top of your notes, this would be the tangent of 28. Is the opposite side 1 over the adjacent side W, or the adjacent leg. I should say leg instead of side, just to differentiate, because this side is the hypotenuse. So we're talking about opposite leg, adjacent leg. In part C, 33 is our reference angle. W is the adjacent leg, 4.5 is the hypotenuse. 
So in this case, I would use the cosine of 33 is the adjacent leg, W, over the hypotenuse, 4.5. Again, in the next video, I'm going to describe how to solve these equations. So we've got them set up. I left some space so that we can learn to solve them later. So finally, I'm going to go to the back side of it, and we are just going to set up the equations in this guided practice. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to try to, just to set up these three. You don't have to solve for anything, but just set up a ratio for, for each of these three. And then I'll have you practice just setting up the ratios. So the ratios here in part A, the sine of 36 is the opposite side 10 over the hypotenuse x. Part B, sine of 28, or you could have used cosine of 62 because 50 is opposite from 28, but it's the adjacent leg to 62. Regardless of either of those things, x is still the hypotenuse. And then in part C, 10 is the opposite side, or 10 is the opposite leg, x is the adjacent leg. So right now, you're ready to just take, move on to the practice. You're doing 1 to 22. They're fairly simple problems where you just set up the ratios.